Hey everybody, Mrs. Norris here. So today we're going to move on to lesson 3.2 in our um, Google Sheets lesson activity. And in this activity, we're using spreadsheets to calculate data. So again, um, I want you to know how to use Google Apps to create, collaborate, and share documents effectively. Um, with these activities, you'll gain an understanding of how to use productivity tools correctly because it will make you more marketable in the future. And finally, what you will be doing today is creating a spreadsheet and using formulas to calculate Apple Store product sales. And this video is being made in 2020. Don't laugh. The Apple Store list goes up to um, the iPhone 6. <laughs> so just to date it a little bit. So the overview, just to kind of give you a background, a little bit of buy-in to this activity. Um, as an intern at the Apple Store, the store manager has asked you to keep track of weekly sales. You decide that the best way to present this information is to prepare a spreadsheet which will calculate the sales and tax, tax totals she is looking for. Your new skills will be to find and replace text, to format as currency, to use formulas like multiply, add, sum, and divide. So in this case, they use sum instead of subtract, and then view formulas. Um, and we're gonna name our Google Sheet with our first and last name, Lesson 3.2. And then we have our information to copy down below. When we're done, we'll download it as a PDF and submit through Canvas. So before we get started, please set up your desktop the way that you see mine here. You should have this tutorial playing in one window and your drive open in another with the two side by side so that you can follow along with what I'm doing. All right, so you should have your desktop set up. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open my CAD folder and then my sheets folder. And I'm going to create a new Google Sheet. My directions tell me that I'm going to name this with my first and last name and lesson 3.2. So I'm going to do that. And then hit enter. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to enter the data that I see below. Now, um, in this example here in the data to copy, you can see that the numbers do not have any commas between them, and that's okay. If that happens, and I'm going to, um, this is cell B11, so in cell B11, I'm going to type that number, 10392. Okay, so in this case it does. If by chance it happens that you it automatically, there's a setting on your computer where it will automatically uh, change it to commas, that's fine as well, it doesn't matter. So what you're gonna do is you're going to copy this exactly as you see it um, on the uh, example in the, assess in the assignments page. So make sure that you're skipping your cell rows. Um, so we have two here, five and six are skipped. Uh, row 9 is skipped, and then row 28 is skipped. And we have no information in um, column C11 through 27, and no information in column D11, uh, again, through 27. And then our uh, numbers below are blank as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause my tutorial um, and type the information myself. When you are done typing the information, please... Um, resume the tutorial and we'll go through all of the editing changes that we're going to make today. All right, so at this point you should have copied the um, information that was in the uh, assignment page and now you are ready to start our editing. So um, I've got my video going here and then I'm going to do my editing. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find and replace. So I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to select everything. So to select all, I'm going to click, click this very first cell above the one and to the left of the A, and that selects everything in my sheet. Okay, so you want to do that when you want to look in the entire sheet for um, a specific number or text. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, edit, and I'm going to go to 
find and replace. And what I want to find is Mac space book. And I want to replace it with Mac no space capital B book. Okay. And um, all of the, the, the specific range and all those check marks that are next to it, we're not going to worry about any of that, but we are going to click replace all. Okay, and you'll see that our MacBooks have changed from MacBook, MacBook Air, and MacBook Pro. So we're going to go ahead and click Done. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is because these are sales of products, money is involved, money is currency, and so we want to change our column B to format as cur currency. So there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to go ahead and click on column B, and then what it's going to do, because we are going to calculate the totals for the week and the average daily sales, so those are going to be currency as well. If I only wanted these numbers to be currency, then um, I would select those cells by clicking on the first, holding down my mouse, and then dragging all the way. Okay, but because everything is going to be currency, I'm going to go ahead and select the letter B. Now I can click here to format as currency, or I can go to format number and change it here as currency. So I'm going to go ahead and use my um, little shortcut tool here. And now everything is numbers. So I'll show you that one more time. I just selected column B because I'm going to want all of these numbers to be currency or money. And then I'm going to click on my currency button. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to use formulas and we're kind of moving through our um, new skills list. So we've found and replaced our text and we formatted as currency. So now we're moving on to formulas and we're going to multiply, add, we're going to find the sum and we're going to divide. Okay. And sum in this case, I said subtract before, but sum actually means adding a whole bunch of numbers together. So what we want to calculate is the tax and we're going to pretend that it is still 2012 and um, the tax is still uh, 7%. So to calculate the tax, what we're going to do is we're going to use the equal sign. So the equal sign is um, in the top row usually of your keyboard next to the delete and the dash button. In between those is the equal sign. Now remember we learned from cells that the cell numbers are um, the column and then the row number together. So we want to calculate the sales of B11. So I'm going to do B11. And you can see that it's highlighted it uh, to be a certain color. So B11. And then to do multiply, we don't do X. Okay, we're not going to do the X. To multiply, we're going to use, if you have what's called a 10 key, which is the number pad attached to your keyboard, you can see that they have a multiplier. It looks like a little asterisk. For the rest of us, if you, or if you don't have a number key, I do, but if you don't have a number, a nine key, um, on your keyboard, if you hold the shift button and the number eight, the asterisk will show up. Okay, and then we want 7%. So seven and then percent, which is shift and the number five. Okay. So there's our formula. We have our B11 multiplied by seven percent. Okay. And when I hit return, it's going to give me my amount. Now a new feature, this is a very new feature, which is autofill. We've done autofill in the past where it's going to give you the suggestion of autofilling everything. So is that something we can do? Yes, it is. But for sake of learning the steps, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do is find the total. So that would be the total of the sales plus the total of the tax. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use my equal sign and this is for the MacBook only. I'm going to again use my equal sign and then I want 
cell B11, what I could do is click on B11 and then plus sign C11 and then I could hit enter. And again, it's going to suggest it for me, but <clears throat> I want you to learn how to do the steps, be proficient in using the steps before you use autofill, just in case that feature pops up for you. Okay. So again, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you that one more time and one more time for the um, multiplying as well. So the tax would be equal sign. Okay, B11, okay, asterisk, 7, shift 5%, and then return or enter. And then we're adding those two numbers together, so equal sign, and I could type B11 plus C11. Instead, I'm going to click B11 plus C11 and return or enter either one okay and you can see that even though we didn't format row uh, column c and d as numbers it still showed up as currency sorry all right so now we do want to actually autofill we want to apply this formula to all the other cells so what we are going to do is we are going to um let's see I'm just double checking my steps here to make sure I'm telling you correctly. Okay. So click and drag. I'll show you again. Click on the cell and then click and drag. Click on the cell and then click and drag. So again, yes, you could have used the autofill feature when it popped up before, but I want you to learn how to use this, um, the, these autofill steps correctly before you let the computer do it for you. Um, I know that that's not always how it is, but <clears throat> that's what we're going to do for today. Okay. So just to show you one more time, I'm going to click on the cell. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to wait until my cursor turns into a plus. I'm going to click and drag and then do the same thing here. Click and drag. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to find the sum. So I want to calculate the formula for everything, um, all of the everything added together. And I could sit here and count it all. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cell B29. So that's cell B29. Okay. And I am going to go to my formula key. So these are functions, um, <clears throat> which is the same as formula. Okay. So functions or formulas, those are the same thing. So if I click the drop down menu, I have the sum option shows up first. Okay. And what the sum option does is it um, opens up this uh, opportunity for me to select the cells that I want to add together. So I want to sum them all up. So I'm going to click on the first sales button, so B11, all the way down to B27. And when I let go, B11 to B27, if I hit the Enter key, I now have my amount. Okay, and I'm going to take this off again because we may not use it. All right, <clears throat> so that's using the sum key. Okay, so I'm going to show you that one more time. I want to use the sum key, so I'm going to go to functions. I'm going to click select the cell I want to do, and then I'm going to go to functions, sum, and then I'm going to click and drag my mouse, let go, and hit return. Okay. So your amount should be $101,101. That's what your amount should be. So if that amount is not the same, you need to check your numbers and your formulas from prior um, steps. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to find the um, division or we're going to find the average daily sales. 
how many days are in a week, because if you can see, uh, and we're going to do this step anyway, I'm going to widen column A. So I'm going to double click. And these are sales for the week. Okay, sales for the week. So how many days are in a week? There are seven days in a week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on cell B30, always using the um, equal sign first. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to select B29 rather than write that whole number out. And to divide, you use um, a backward slash. And it's seven days in a week. So I'm going to hit seven. And then I'm going to hit return. Okay. And my amount, which you should have the same of, is um, 14,443. Okay. So just to show you one more time, again, formulas always need to start with the equal sign. So it's equal, okay, B29, backslash for divide, and then seven days. And then I'm going to hit return, okay? So all of my sums and formulas are done. We learned how to multiply. We learned how to use adding formula. We learned how to um, use the sum, which adds an entire column of numbers. And then we used how to uh, learn how to use dividing. Okay. So now let's do, if you didn't already, resize column A. Okay. We're going to center line. Um, a1 down to A4. We're going to center align these. So again, I just clicked on A1 and dragged down to A4 and center align. Okay. My directions tell me that now we're going to change them back to left align. <laughs> so make sure you change them back to left align. Um, we are going to bold cells A10 through D10. Okay, and then we are going to right align these and this time we're gonna keep it at right aligned. Okay. Now, if we want to, um, and in fact, this is something I would like for you to do and to um, send me a picture of, um, <clears throat> we're going to view all of our formulas to make sure that we did our formulas correctly. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to, um, I'm going to select, select anywhere on the uh, spreadsheet and I'm going to go to view, view, show formulas. And you can see all of your formulas are there and um, what do I want to do? Hmm. We're going to leave it like this. Um, and this is how you are going to submit it to me. Um, I haven't done this in the past. In the past, I just walked by and checked desks, but this is 2021 and you all are at home. So I can't walk, come by and check your desk. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is have you submit it. Um, both ways, actually. Will we do that? No. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud here. We'll just submit it right this way with the sums so I know that you knew how to do this. So uh, let's see if that's actually going to happen. Okay, so we're going to click File. And we're going to go to Download, PDF, and all the um, the uh, formulas are there. So if I were a student, I would know that I'm turning this in correctly. The things I'm going to be looking for is, do you have the formulas? Are the formulas correct? Um, do you have Apple Store information on the left align? Did you bold and right align? These are the things I'm going to look for. So I'm ready to export this. Okay, and then this document is now ready to submit in Canvas, and I am done with 3.2.